Good morning everybody, it's Darth Shockwave here. I'm back again for another Transforms review. As you can see, today's review is going to be on the Autobot Strategist Prowl. I think it's Strategist, can't remember exactly, it's some tech specs. But anyway, as you can see here, we have both the 2008 Classics model and the original G1 model. And they're both police cars. And just like Sunstreak and Sideswipe, the new Prowl is an updated car version of the original car version of Prowl. Because the original car Prowl was a Nissan Fair Lady said, and the new one is a Nissan 350. Uh, it's basically just the newer updated version, and it looks quite nice. So as you can see, they both have the same features on them. They both have Highway Patrol and the black stripe written down the side. And you except Prowl, the original one, has uh, got the police badges here though. Whereas that Prowl doesn't. And of course this one is a lot lighter because it's made out of plastic. This one's made out of lovely sturdy die cast metal, which we love. Uh, in every single, pretty much every single mode and toy that Prowl has had, he's pretty much always been a police car. I think there's a couple of times in Beast Wars where he wasn't, but every time he's been a police car, pretty much. Hasbro even said it's one of those times where he, you know, certain characters will have uh, it's basically the same mold over and over again. What's like the same function over go over and over again? Like Prowl will always be a police car. Which is nice. It suits him. So, let's get on to transform these guys. We'll start off with the original Prowl. It came out in 1984. It was one of the first of the transforms to come out. First off, you've got to open the doors. And then detach the legs. There we go. And then split open the feet. Then you have to open the arms. Move the arms out, fold down the chest, and swivel the waist. There you go, that's his robot mode. Very nice looking robot mode. One of the more popular G1 toys, very popular one. And it's been reissued a few times as well. I think these are quite cheap on eBay as well. Yeah, they're not overly expensive because of the amount of reissues Prowl has had. These have about two, so you can find them. Hasbro one is probably the cheapest one you can find. There we go, just add his acid gun. There we go. Very nice looking toy Prowl this. So I just noticed I've got a post of Andrea Core looking at that Prowl as well. Now we get on to uh, the classics Prowl here. Uh, I'd like to point out, it's a great looking toy, but the paint applications to the transparent pieces is terrible. This is the Hasbro version as well. I mean, I don't know if you can see this, but it's like the white all faded. And it's here as well. It's like they, you know, they painted it, but then put it into the um, packaging while they were still wet. Because it's all, all flaking, and it's not flaking off, it's just, you can easily, you could scratch this all off very easily, if you had, if you wanted to. But anyway, it is quite bad. Other than that, and the fact that these doors and front bits will pop off, it's a really nice toy. So we're going to transform this plow now. So, oh, I've already taken the gun out, we've got it. Disconnect the front and watch these things. Whoops. These things will fly out. Right, separate the back, flip down the feet, fold out the ankles. And now we've got to open up this side here. 
removing the front wings behind the doors. Let's see? Came off. At least it pops off and doesn't snap off, so, you know, you could just put it back in. Right, go get the arms out. This prowl basically transforms almost the same as the original prowl as well. There was one exception, you don't have to turn the waist around. Uh, and then you just... Sit down the head. Lock down the waist. And reposition your arms, how you like. There's the place is gone. It's out. And no. Oh. Well, we have Classic Pile, who doesn't who decides to fall over. Stand. There we go. There we go. Classic Pile and G1 Pile. As you can see here, it's a really nice 21st century updating of the original fan favourite. It does look very nice. It looks brilliant with the rest of the... Um, Classics all combined together, all joining up for a big fight. He's got a lot of similar features to the original Prowl as well, like the black arms, white shoulders, the heads are practically identical. You know, of course, the chest on the cuff front of the car's chest. His um, shoulder cans are under there, by the way. I haven't. I sometimes don't bother putting them out, just to try and make him a little bit more distinguished to Blue Streak and Smoke Screen. And besides, he didn't have them in the cartoon, it was only Blue Streak and Smokescreen that did. Yeah, we've also got the front and the back of the car, that's the front of the legs. It looks very nice. Um, G1 Prowl looks very nice as well. One of those Transforms that, you know, belongs in, the, belongs in any Transforms collection. Love the chrome weapons, by the way. They're great. Uh, the shoulder cans, by the way, I mean, I don't, yeah, they're right under there. They're white on this toy. Yeah, that's sort of, um, just like the original Prowl, and if you look at the promotional photos, they were white on the original Prowl. But yeah, other than the paint applications, this is a really great figure. I mean, you know, it has waist articulation when it doesn't need it, so that's really nice. And uh, um, I think they're still quite cheap as well. They're about fifteen pounds on eBay. If you're lucky, you might still be able to find a couple in some toy shops that didn't sell, you know, that didn't sell all their stock. If you're lucky, of course. Nowadays, it's just got more Revenge of the Fallen stuff in. His gun's a little bit shorter than the original one as well, and it's a fold-out gun. If you, you know, if you really are into this toy and you want to get a good one. Definitely go for the Henke version because the paint applications will be a lot better on it than than the Hasbro one. Like this is the Hasbro one. Uh, I bought this one because the Henke one wasn't out yet, and uh, you know it's nearly two years since I bought it, so I can't be guilty for that. <laughs> now it's got a full range of articulation, unlike G1 Power. It's just got articulation in the arms. And it's got articulation all the way down the arms, wrists. Elbows, shoulders, and then full articulation in the legs, and you know, heads on the swivel joint. So it's nicely articulated. Highly recommended, by the way, for both of them. They are. So um, I've been Darth Shockwave. Hope you've enjoyed this review. I'll come back soon for another Lego one. Until uh, next time, over and out. Bye.